Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today, Slasher is cooking up a round roast at the pit, and it's easy to do. For this recipe, you're going to need four pounds top round roast, a half a cup of beef broth, two ounces of soy sauce, two ounces of Worcestershire sauce, a half a cup of dill pickle juice. Oh, yeah, man. A half a cup of yellow mustard. You're going to need a tenderizer or a marinade injector. You're going to need some seasoning like our SPG, and you're going to need some water. All right, let's put this together. Now, we'll take this uh, half a cup of beef broth, add the soy sauce, add the Worcestershire sauce, and we're going to make an injection marinade, so to speak, right? So we'll grab a syringe full, and you'll do this at a number of points on this roast, and we'll inject it. This allows us to get the moisture and the flavoring deep inside. This is the way you do it. Now, some of you might know the top round roast is a relatively inexpensive piece of beef. And the reason is, is because it's fairly tough. It comes from the round portion, the rear upper leg portion of the beef cattle. And that does a lot of work, right? So it's lean and tough. So to get it moist and tender, you need to cook it slow, relatively slow. It takes time to get it tenderized, right? So um, now, Slasher here is now going to make another rub, liquid rub, right? And he's going to take this injected roast and bathe it in the mustard and the pickle juice. Oh you know this is going to be good and preferably you want to do this overnight do it the night before give it plenty of time to work the magic and of course you want to hit it with your favorite seasoning we're using our spg use your favorite seasoning and then you want to wrap it in some plastic and we're going to let it sit overnight in the refrigerator Again, this could be a Sunday roast. Take your time with it, because it's going to be good. All right, in a miracle of time, Slasher slept in the cabin overnight, and this is ready for the grill. So, next step. We're going to put it on our standard Weber kettle here, opposite the hot coals. It's indirect, and we'll drop on some uh, hardwood, your favorite smoke wood. And then we're going to keep the moisture up in this slow cook. It might take a few hours. And we'll just add some water to this hot pan over the coals. And we'll keep the humidity up there. It'll help, right? Keep it moist. Oh, man. It smells good already. Oh, good. All right. We're about uh, day 45 minutes into this, more or less. We want to take a look. Oh, it's coming together. Perfect. All right, now, this is uh, optional for you. We're doing this on the kettle. We've got some even cooking going around, so uh, we're going uh, to turn it. And depending upon what grill you have, you may or may not need to do that. All right. <laughs> now, you want to do this every once in a while during this cook, right? So you're going to spritz it with some, uh, in this case, apple juice, some water, whatever. Again, you're trying to keep the moisture up in there to keep it as moist as possible. Simple enough. All right, and in a miracle of time, we've reached an internal temperature of about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. We've had a grill temperature of about 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is what you got. Perfect, but it's not done yet. This is a very important part. You got to let it rest. You got to give the opportunity for all the juices to re-permeate into this meat. So here we're going to wrap it in some butcher's paper. Again, you could use some foil, what you got, right? And we'll drop it into a cooler 
in order to keep the temperature warm and maybe for a half hour, 45 minutes or so. Perfect. Take a look at that. Lord have mercy. You take the time, you're going to have yourself a perfectly cooked, moist and tender top round roast, right? This is also referred to the London broil, right? If some of you are trying to figure out what this is. Take a look at that. Whoa. You kidding me? We're eating good tonight, Martha. So we'll just cut the strings, unless you like the strings in your meat. And the key here is to cut very thin slices against the grain, right? This kind of roast is also used in your deli for making roast beef sandwiches. Same cut, very, very thin slices against the grain. But here we barbecue it. Outrageous barbecue flavor. I'll tell you what, you may have needed to make two of these, right? Because these here will go fast. Take a look at that. Oh, man. So this is the part where the pitmaster slasher is eating in front of you and he's not apologizing. So to get the exact ingredients, head on over to our website. And uh, while you're there, sign up a chapter. We'd be proud to have you. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.